All right, guys. Today we got an iPad Generation 2. The model number is, let's see if you can see that. It's an A1395. This one's cracked up pretty good, especially along this side and this side. So removing the glass is gonna take a little bit longer. Um, remember down here, right side, there's a Wi-Fi connection. So make sure when you're coming around down here at the bottom, just be real careful that you don't accidentally cut that Wi-Fi connection or you'll have to replace it. But other than that, let's get started. This iPad is dead. If yours has power to it, please make sure that you turn the power off. First thing you wanna do, heat gun, hair dryer. And you're gonna go around the edges. Um, this is not a quick process. Take your time. Make sure when you go around the edges, you're just heating the edges. Don't try to heat the actual LCD screen. So just kind of aim it away uh, and always uh, maybe an inch away and just even heat. Work from the best side. I think this side is not cracked as bad. So I'll probably start here and work my way around. And we might just have to, since it's cracked so bad, pull it off and then just scrape a little pieces of glass out. But I'm hoping we don't have to. So let's see what happens on this one. Remember, power it off. Let's get going. All right, guys. So you're going to take your um, hot air gun or heat source, and you're going to go around the outside edges. Um, this is my Sesamo tool I'm using. You can use an X-Acto knife. Just make sure when you uh, are prying up on it, you're prying up on the digitizer, not prying down into the LCD. Remember, bottom right, um, be very careful. That is the Wi-Fi connection. Um, if you trip that cord, that little cable, uh, you won't be able to use your Wi-Fi. You'll have to install another one. Also, along the right side, next to the volume, the physical volume buttons, there's another cable that runs. If you cut that one as well, your power button might not work. Volume up and down might not work as well. So please be careful. I'm going to speed this up a little bit basically got all the glass removed it it is a long process i mean 20 30 minutes is pretty normal uh, i'm just basically saying i'm going around the sides with my tweezers getting all the glass out i went ahead and cut my digitizer off um, so it's easier to work with uh, but once you get enough um, glass around where you can lift your lcd up you want to take the four screws out that are in the four corners and you're going to lift it up like a book you're going to disconnect that cable and that cable and I'm not showing you the actual digitizer because I ended up cutting it and then this is the most important right here you want to lift up on that battery so that the battery is not touching you don't want any power going through your iPad um, if there's power going through your iPad it can leave like little black marks on the side of your um, LCD it's kind of like a black light problem so I'm basically getting the digitizer here. I'm going to show you where these connect. It's going to be on the bottom left. Um, but this is going to be your screen replacement. Uh, I'll, leave, I'll try to leave a link in the description where I got mine from. Um, I've had a lot of luck with this screen right here. But as you can see down here in the bottom left, you're just going to fit those little cables in until the white lines line up. And then there's a little flap. You're just going to push both of those down. But remember, before you do any of that, disconnect that battery and put something under it. I usually just put a little piece of plastic in there. And then just start connecting everything back. Um, I'm about to connect this LCD back. You have to kind of push it at an angle and then pull that little clasp down. Same thing right here. Push it in at an angle. just flip that little clasp over till it locks in place and then you want to grab that screw that you took out for that battery if you have any kind of plastic you know between the battery um, go ahead and take that out as well I forgot about the plastic I put in there completely put the iPad back together and then it wasn't charging properly so we're gonna screw that back down pretty hard this screw we're gonna screw it in there pretty good uh, you want to make sure you get a good connection with the battery lay everything down um, this one was dead 
so I'm gonna have to charge it for a minute um, before I show you any power. So let me charge it real quick. All right, it's been on the charger for a while. We got juice. Just gonna mess with it for a second, make sure um, that everything's functioning the way that it should. Um, on this iPad, the power button was not working. Um, they just wanted the glass fixed for now, so that's all we fixed. But we did put a little um, assistive touch on here that will help lock the screen. And that's all I'm doing right now. I was trying to figure out if it's working properly. Everything looks good. We're gonna go ahead and lift it up. Screw the four screws back in to uh, connect the LCD. Right here, I'm doing a little cleaning with a microfiber cloth. Um, sometimes when you're doing this, you get fingerprints on the actual LCD. Uh, don't, don't let it bother you, don't get scared. Just take a microfiber cloth and start cleaning it. Um, you can spray, sp spray some uh, LCD cleaner on it too. Um, whatever works best for you. I just usually use a microfiber cloth and sometimes you can still see the fingerprints barely, um, but that's worked the best for me so far. I'm just putting the four screws back that we took out from all four corners. Um, I like to buy the screens that come with the home button. It's just, they usually are a couple dollars more, but I don't like messing with the home button. So right now I'm about to show you the adhesive that comes with the screen. That's the adhesive that comes with the screen. Sometimes it's, it's good, sometimes not so good. So I'm gonna add a little bit of my own um, just where they didn't put adhesive. And then I'm also gonna add some liquid adhesive in here as well. At any place I didn't put any adhesive, that's just that's just what I'm doing right now. Um, it's kind of rough down there on the bottom, so I just went ahead and put it on the actual iPad frame. Now I'm going to start getting my tweezers, and we're going to take off the adhesive um, off the screen we ordered, and we're going to take off the double-sided tape adhesive that we put on there. Like I said, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. You're just gonna have to do trial and error. Um, sometimes the double-sided adhesive tape don't stick like I want it to. So it's all just kind of trying it, but I have the screen adhesive, I have double-sided tape, and I'm also gonna put a little bit of liquid adhesive on here as well, just to see if that um, helps out. Still just taking off all the adhesive, cleaning the LCD screen. Here's the plastic. Make sure you always take off this plastic. Um, I have forgot it before and had to uh, open up the iPad all over again. So here it is. This is this B7000 um, liquid adhesive that I use. Um, this is what's the best look for me. Don't put super glue on there, none of that stuff. Um, this stuff usually takes about 48 hours to adhere but it's, it's done me pretty well so far. Um, I really like it. I'm just gonna put it around the edges. I've always been told do not use liquid adhesive. Um, so I didn't forever, but I started getting all these iPads that came in and from the manufacturer, Apple, Samsung, wherever they all had some type of liquid adhesive. Um, right now there's a piece of glass in there, so I'm trying to dump it out. It fell in one of the little crevices but they all had liquid adhesive. So I knew if they were using it, I mean, I need some of that adhesive. So I bought this B7000 and like I said, it's done pretty good so far. Uh, I've been pretty impressed. Some more of that little glass that fell in that little corner right there. So I'm just making sure I didn't get any dust or anything on the LCD. So when we set this down, we want it to sit just right. Here I go, I'm putting on the um, B7000 liquid adhesive. Uh, you don't need to put very much, do not go very thick. 
very thin, um, very, very light um, adhesive. Just put it all the way around the sides. Make sure you don't get it in any little crevices that could jack it up like the camera, um, anything like that. We're gonna lay this down, and when you lay it down, uh, use that camera at the top as your main guide um, to lay it down, and then just start pushing down the sides. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I uh, put the case on it, um, and then messed around with it again as well, just to make sure everything's functioning the way it should. Have any questions, concerns, uh, if you do something different, please let me know. We all got to kind of work together and help each other out. Um, I love fixing this stuff and uh, I love um, different ways of people doing it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.